Science 9, Lesson 1.1, The Respiratory System. Here are our objectives. Number 1, identify the key parts of the breathing system. Number 2, describe the function of each part of the breathing system. Breathe in and out. Notice your chest and belly moving and feel the soft air passing from the nose. The human respiratory system is composed of different organs responsible for gas exchange. The oxygen enters the body as you breathe in for the cells to live and function properly and remove carbon dioxide as you breathe out. Are breathing and respiration the same? Breathing is the process of intake of air into the lungs and expulsion of carbon dioxide. Breathing is also called external respiration as it is an external process of taking oxygen in and throwing carbon dioxide out via respiratory organs. How do we get energy? Most of us will answer from the food we eat. Yes, you are correct. But the energy is stored in the food. So it needs to be unlocked. The food needs to be broken down and this requires oxygen. Energy will be released from the food with the help of oxygen. This process is called respiration. Respiration is a biochemical process in which the cells of an organism obtain energy. Respiration occurs in the cell. In order for the cells obtain energy, they use oxygen to burn food. Water and carbon dioxide are produced as waste. Just remember that the word breathing is linked to respiration. Oxygen that we take in is needed by the cells to undergo the process of respiration to produce energy. Now, let's talk about the human respiratory system. It is composed of different organs responsible for gas exchange. The human respiratory system is divided into two components, the upper and lower respiratory tracts. The upper respiratory tract includes nose, throat or pharynx, voice box or larynx. Lower respiratory tract, we have windpipe or trachea, lungs, bronchi and bronchioles, air sacs or alveoli, diaphragm. Let's have the nose. Nose is the organ through which the air enters. The nose is the body's primary organ of smell and also functions as part of the body's respiratory system. Nose trills are one of the parts of the nose. Nose trills are also called external nerves. These are external openings of the nose.
Another part of the nose is the nasal cavity. Nasal cavity serves as channel for air flow through the nose in which the air is warmed, cleaned, and moistened. The nose processes the air we breathe to prepare it for our lungs and throat, which do not tolerate dry air well. As the inhaled air passes through the nose, it is moisturized and humidified. Now you know why your throat feels dry when you've been breathing a long time through the mouth. The inhaled air did not get humidified in the nose. The nasal cavity is lined with a mucous membrane that helps keep the nose moist by producing mucus. The mucus captures dust, germs, and small particles that could irritate the lungs. The mucus that the mucous membrane released traps smaller particles like pollen or smoke. Mucus is a slippery aqueous secretion produced by mucous membrane. Mucus is sticky so that it can trap dust, allergens, and viruses. When you are healthy, the mucus is thin and less noticeable. It becomes a phlegm when you are exposed to too many particles as it traps these foreign substances. The mucous membrane has tiny hairs that are located on its surface. They are called cilia. Hair-like structures called cilia lined or line the mucous membrane and move the particles trapped in the mucus out of the nose. Their job is to catch dangerous particles in mucus. They move the particle-filled mucus toward our throat. There, it is either coughed up or swallowed. Nasal hair and cilia are different. Nasal hair is visible to our naked eye. However, cilia in the mucous membrane, it is microscopic, meaning it is so small as to be visible only with a microscope. Nasal hair catches large particles, so they can't even get to our cilia. Instead, they stay trapped in our nose hairs until we sneeze or blow them out. Throat or pharynx. It is the common passageway of air from the nasal cavity and food from the oral cavity. Number three, voice box or larynx. Larynx is a hollow tubular structure that connects the pharynx and the windpipe, also known as trachea. Air passes through the larynx on its way to the lungs. The larynx also produces vocal sounds because this is where the vocal folds or vocal cords lie. In our larynx, there is a leaf-shaped flap cartilage behind the tongue. It is called the epiglottis. The epiglottis protects the trachea during eating to prevent from inhalation of food. The main function of the epiglottis is to seal off the windpipe during eating so that food is not accidentally inhaled. We're done with the upper respiratory tract. Now, let's move on to the lower respiratory tract. We have here the windpipe or trachea. Trachea is a cartilaginous tube that connects the larynx to the bronchi 
of the lungs. The trachea is lined with a moist mucous membrane layer composed of cells containing small hair-like projections called cilia. This, there are tracheal rings also known as tracheal cartilages. The tracheal cartilages help support the trachea while still allowing it to move and flex during breathing. Another part of the lower respiratory tract, the lungs. Lungs are the primary organs of the respiratory system. The lungs are protected by a bony and muscular rib cage and a double layered membrane, pleura, that lines the thoracic cavity and covers the lungs. You have two lungs, but they are not the same size the way your eyes or nostrils are. Instead, the lung on the left side of your body is a bit smaller than the lung on the right. This extra space on the left leaves room for your heart. Number 3. Bronchi Bronchi, also called bronchial tubes. Two branching tubes that connect the trachea to the lungs. Number 4. Bronchioles Bronchioles are small bronchial tubes that deliver air to alveoli. Inside your lungs, tubes split again and again like the branches of a tree. The smallest of those branches are called bronchioles. Number 5. Alveoli Tiny air sacs like grapes located at the end of the bronchial tubes and are surrounded by blood capillaries. During inhalation, alveoli expand as the negative pressure in the chest is created by contraction of the diaphragm. During exhalation, the alveoli recoil as the diaphragm relaxes. The gas exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide happens between the alveoli and blood by the process of diffusion. Diffusion is the movement of molecules from an area of high concentration to an area with a lower concentration. Number 6 the diaphragm. Diaphragm is a dome-shaped structure that separates the chest and abdomen. It is the main respiratory muscle responsible for inhalation and exhalation. During inhalation, the lungs expand and the diaphragm moves downward. In exhalation, the diaphragm relaxes and returns to its normal shape. The breathing system can be compared to a bunch of grapes. Now, we are done with the parts of the respiratory system. Let's try to identify the parts of the breathing system. Let's try to answer number one. 
it starts with letter N. It serves as channel for air flow. And this is where the air is warmed, cleaned, and moistened. Very good. Nasal cavity. Number two. It also starts with letter N. It is the organ through which the air enters. And it is also the body's primary organ of smell. Fantastic! Nose! Next, it starts with the letter E. It is a leaf-shaped flap cartilage behind the tongue that protects the trachea during eating to prevent from inhalation of food. You're correct. It starts with letter L. It is also known as the voice box. Very good. It starts with letter L. The primary organs of the respiratory system. These are protected by a bony and muscular rib cage and a layered membrane called pleura. Fantastic! It starts with the letter D. It is a dome-shaped structure that separates the chest and abdomen. Great! It starts with the letter T and it is the common passageway of air and food. Very good. Or pharynx. It starts with letter T. It is also known as the windpipe that connects the larynx to the bronchi of the lungs. Yes, you're correct. It starts with letter B, the smallest branches in the breathing system. Very good. It starts with letter B. These are two branching tubes that connect the trachea to the lungs. You are correct. It starts with letter A. This is where the gas exchange happens. Very good. I hope you learned something today. Stay tuned for our next video lesson. Bye for now.